Image accuracy is very important when doing cell tower inspections. My job is basically to take pictures of the things that they need to be inspecting, and that way it gives them kind of a precursor to actually sending a person up the pole. What I like the most about the H520 is the stability and the high winds. It's not a very uh, friendly environment. It can be quite hostile at times. Just knowing that it's gonna stay where you want it to be, that just comes in so handy, especially when you're flying around $100,000 pieces of equipment. You need to be able to find out how far apart things are. You need to see if there's corrosion, if there's something that needs to be manually inspected. You can go from your standard camera to a thermal camera, just flip them in and out. I don't believe that drones can replace a human. I don't think they're even intended to. All the drones are really here for is to make the human experience safer and more productive. I love this bird. As construction site supervisors, one thing that this technology is definitely bringing to the table is efficiency. The H520 allows us to take a lot of data that we need for our BIM software and our ortho mapping also. The H520 provides that accurate data. The bird takes off by itself, flies the waypoints by itself, takes the correct photos needed for the job, comes back and lands. It's autonomous, it's fantastic. E90 provides more resolution, so more dots per inch, which means you can get a higher quality, more precise mapping of your job site. I'm very happy with uh, H520. We'll be using it a lot more in our construction sites, I can tell you for sure. The ultimate goal in search and rescue is to find the missing person. Most of the time, if you're looking for a missing hiker, they're gonna have probably built a fire and probably have been in an area for a while. So you'll be able to see where they've been and what they've been doing. The E90 is by far one of my favorites, followed closely by the thermal camera. The E90 has the clarity and the, the capability of being able to see my routes that I'm gonna travel. I can put it up real quick, fly ahead of us about a mile, see what the train looks like, and then bring it back so I can leapfrog into my search grid. With Unique's ET camera, or thermal imaging camera, I can do a search for a, a body or a heat source and then be able to switch that payload out to another camera to get an actual closer view of what we've found and if that's our actual target that we're looking for. The low light feature allows me to make that happen. The H520 stands out. It's day glow orange and it makes it very, very easy to see for visual line of sight at a distance. When you're in a SAR environment, it's what do I need and what don't I need. The fact that it is portable, that's the big thing. I mean, this has all of the engineering features that we need for search and rescue. It's like they sat down with us beforehand and they built everything we needed in search and rescue into this bird. I'm very happy with uh, H520. The stability and uh, reliability. I need a UAS that works the first time every time. 